Gentlemen, if you want to sell a couple hundred thousand Game Boys to little kids, package them with Mario. But if you want to sell millions to absolutely everyone around the world, package them with Tetris. Tetris. It's the perfect game. It's an extraordinary story involving lots of different factions from all over the world, all pursuing this incredibly hot property. This game is poetry, art and math, all working in magical synchronicity. My character, Hank, is a publisher of games who sets about on this kind of mad dash to secure the rights to Tetris. Where? Russia. There's this one man in the USSR who's made this thing that everyone wants. Alexei is the designer. He designed the game. Because of the laws in Russia at the time, he is denied the right to earn any money from his game. It kind of becomes the property of the state. But Hank kind of storms into his life. Hank was the first man in Russia to whom you can talk about computers. I'm gonna make you a millionaire. I do not have right to receive money from my game. That's criminal. No. It is communism. Have you ever negotiated with the Soviets, Mr. Rogers? Do you know what it feels like to be in a country where everyone is watching you? Go home. Understood? How do you get the game out of Russia when everything's chaos there? This is an illegal copy. He thinks I stole Tetris? Affirmative. These were true visionaries that broke the rules to make the world better. It's an unknown story about a very well-known game. Hank hits a number of walls, trying to smuggle the rights of Tetris out of the USSR. One of those blockades being the Maxwells. Kevin Maxwell, CEO of Microsoft. Fantastic. I would like to buy your worldwide handheld rights. We'll consider your offer, Mr. Rogers. I haven't made one yet. Yes. It's exciting, it's thrilling, it's based on reality. It's just a lot of fun. Not so often I can see the movie when I read the screenplay, but this one was brilliant. Get me Tetris. It's about companionship and friendship, and that these two kindred spirits, capitalist and communist, have kind of come together. My dad put everything on the line to chase after this game. Most people have no idea the drama that the game went through for it to spread to the rest of the world. I think some people will feel nostalgic. Tetris has connection with this desire that all human beings have to create something, to build something, to put everything in order. This phrase, falling blocks, it's about love. Doesn't matter where you're from, if you're inspired by what you're doing, there are no barriers. Tetris is a cultural zeitgeist, and it's quite exciting to think that the backstory to this phenomenon will finally get its moment in the sunlight. <laughs>